Uh, with the with the unemployment bonuses they were getting, I was able to just kind of. Yeah, I was like, eating out here. I was eating. I went to a lot of good <laughs> restaurants. You know what I mean? I've been humble for too long. My homie told me start to flex. I ain't gotta show no muscle. They know that I'm coming next. They was sleeping on the kid. Now they salty like my ex. Now they try to come around. Anyway, all right. So we're back. Another episode. Um, I got T Woods with me today. Yes, sir, uh, the one and only. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Yeti. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I met this guy, what, how long ago? Maybe four or five years ago in GTBA? Yeah, probably been, probably been there. Probably had, to, had, to, had to look at the video footage and see exactly when we played. I was actually <laughs> going through the, I was going through the photos uh, earlier from Facebook because I was going to use the photo for like when I posted this, but I couldn't find a photo with like me, one of us guarding each other on the court. Uh, or anything like that. I, I'm gonna keep Man, looking. Yeah, but it's about seven thousand photos. That was like, yeah, it's like 2018-2017. So might have been before that because um, yeah. we played Boys and Girls Club. Boys and Girls Club out mm -hmm. east, out east. That uh, might have been. That might have been fifteen. Nah, that was probably that was probably sixteen. Might have been late fifteen, oh, early yeah. sixteen. Yeah, I, I had people for it because I, I had just I had I had just met Frank. I had met Frank in 2014. Yeah, he was a rookie that season, I think. Yeah, I was rookie that season, too, at the Boys and Girls Club. Because we both started playing together. And uh, Phil, I don't think he was a rookie. He had already been playing. Uh, Van Wich? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he had already yeah, been yeah I think he was already there. Yep. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about... Um, I had it. I, I lost it. <laughs> uh, do you think people should go to college or trade school? What's your opinion on that? Uh, the way today's society is, I mean, um, college is always, you know, a good idea just, you know, so you can have those, um, yeah, the credentials mm -hmm. or whatnot. But, to, I mean, to make it to make it big, you know, besides like just showing off, you don't actually need the, you know, you don't you don't need a degree to to, to make it big, to be an owner in anything. You yeah. don't really need a degree to work in most fields. They want you to have experience or skills. So you can actually go more so on the trade school part so you can learn something that you can use in, you know, various life, you know what I mean? Um, so, you can, yeah, you can go to trade school because you can learn something and instantly start working versus going somewhere. And, you know, you say you, you, get, you, get, you go and get your, get your degree, but then they want you to have experience or they give you a starting, a lower salary because yeah. of your lack of experience. They don't use your degree as experience yeah, versus just, sense. exactly, just jumping in you know, and, and growing with that company is, is more. so well, my, my situation. So I went to a, a thing called C9 when I was in high school. And it's a it's a building you go to where like you work on like actual school trade stuff like construction, culinary arts. Like there's things they actually get you ready to go into whatever field you're going to go into. So that was something that my school had. You go to like for the first three periods of my senior year and then you go back to school and go to the rest of your classes. So I went to that and I went to um, I did construction. So in high school, I've already helped build houses, put roofing up, uh, like Man. build walls, put in windows. Like so, I'd already been doing that. But my teacher at C nine said, um, because I didn't know if I wanted to go to college at the time, and he mm -hmm. was like, I would go, I would tell you to go just so you can experience college, and enjoy that. Um, so, and that's not the only reason I went. I ended up going because I ended up uh, was going to get a. A partial scholarship if I would have walked on to Indiana State, but I ended up not getting one. But I, I did go. I did enjoy college uh, for what it was, and I, I can't I can't say that I would do it differently because I enjoyed my time there. Not necessarily the classroom portion, but I did enjoy <laughs> uh, my time in Indiana State from the people I met to the things I did from the experiences I had. So from that standpoint, I would say if you're gonna want to go to college, I would go to to experience college. But I do think, I do think you're right with the trade school, because trade school they actually teach you to start doing the work to work. By the time you're ready to work, you could run that business, as opposed to college, you're they're teaching you to um, be able to work for somebody in a sense, because like you said, you, they tell you you don't have experience or they knock you down because you don't have experience and you've been in college for four years or five years, however long you've been there. So, like, did you have that same experience? I know you said you went to Ivy Tech. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if I if I could do it different, then um, I might consider going to college, like, away from the city. Now, I went to Ivy Tech, so that's local, so that's, like, community. You know, I did it because it was cheaper. 
I got grants, so I was like, I basically got paid to go to school versus having to come out of pocket, you know, okay. elsewhere. Yeah. Um, I did miss that experience, you know, as, as a teenager. Um, so I, I got done in high school at 17. Gotcha. So going out a year early, I could have went back to high school, but I was like, that'd be a waste of time anyway. So I just went just straight to Ivy Tech. Yeah. Now, with how my life is set up, I met a, a few, you know, business owners and, and mentors when I was 17, almost turned 18, to where I wouldn't have met them had I went back to high school or went away to college. So, and that actually pretty much altered my whole life from everyone that I networked through, you know, from them. But who's to say that I, w- I would have met some young cats in college yeah. and done something later in life? But I, w- I wouldn't I wouldn't go for the long term benefits going away to college, you know, to get, to get my degree. Because yeah. nowadays you can just go to school online, and hell with COVID, you can't even go to school anywhere. You know, what yeah. I mean, you got to hop on a laptop anyway. So yeah. everything is, you know, a lot of stuff is virtual. Um, so you know, me, I'm I'm not really tripping. I didn't go 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 away to college because I'm not a big you know partier. Uh, not like that, you know what I mean? Social drinker, you know what I mean? Just yeah. small stuff. So it's like when you promote the experience, I'm not really too held up on that yeah. part. I'm going for like, and what am I going to get? How is it going to benefit me? That's fair. You know? So, I mean, and then all my jobs, there's only been a few that I didn't get because I didn't have my degree. Yeah. Awesome. But there's so many jobs out here and I'm so versatile. I, I ain't really, really tripping. Line, whatever. Yep. Cause, 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 oh my bad. Uh, Cause it's it's more so about who you know, even even when you got your degree or you know the experience. If you got somebody giving you recommendations, you think it's about who you know. I mean, sometimes literally, I've seen a couple jobs where it's like because I've been told by my uh, my boy Walt. Shout out to Walt. He said, um, "It's about who knows you." So not necessarily about who you know, because people you know may not be. Just like just like being a small business owner, your, your friends don't really share your content or share your products the mm-hmm. way a stranger does sometimes. Right. And like like you, like you, my boy, like why are you not sharing? Why are you not reposting? Da da da. Why are you not buying? But like you'll have you'll meet a stranger who will do all that, and you never even ask them. So he says it's about who knows you. You say it's about who you know. I guess it's really about just who's willing to go to bat for you. Because at the end of the day, somebody you you can know somebody forever if they're not willing to put a stamp of approval on you, it don't matter. And you can meet a guy who is a, a CEO person, y'all click and y'all become cool, he says your name in the next big meeting he has. So I think it's about who uh, is willing to put their stamp of approval on you. Yeah, I definitely I definitely I definitely agree with that. Um I mean I would say that kind of that's kind of the same thing as far as like who knows you and who you know, you know, cuz that that's kind that's kind of what I meant, you know yeah. what I mean? Cuz no, no, it. it's like if they don't know you, how can you really say that you know them? Gotcha. You know what I mean? So it, it's it's a mutual. Like, you know, I haven't expected most of my, you know, close friends, the ones I do, to do anything major for me because we all on the same page here. Um, and this the state we're in is just not like a major city of support. You know what I mean? I don't speak on that. The state or just this, this city? Well, I mean, I've lived in this city my whole life. I haven't really ventured out to yeah, other yeah. cities but there's not a lot of cities in indiana with us in it anyway yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so i mean i ain't going up to gary <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, i'm up there though i'm not from gary i'm from michigan city but i'm up from the region the 219 yeah you feel me like i'm, I'm not going up there expecting y'all to you know buy you know buy beast thoughts and my t-shirts yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that you know what i mean so i, I ain't I ain't, I ain't expecting all that yeah but, but i do like you said the the um the city or the state not being big on support because like you can go somewhere else like LA, Florida or whatever and people will support like crazy. Like when, like like instantly. Instantly, you know? but like India is a place of like super like you got if you're not popular, you're not hitting, you're not winning. You got to be popular here and only way to get popular is to be like what you said, you got to go out, you got to be in these clubs, you got to be in the bars. Man, you got to be out there. You got to be getting 500 likes on the picture. A lot of times it comes down to looks, you know. Come down to looks. If you ugly, you definitely ain't getting no type of play. Not a nerd. Not everybody got the Rick Ross beard. You feel me? So <laughs> they don't. They love that, you know. What I mean? <laughs> the KD beard, the scruffy. The K- yeah, they ain't, they ain't messing mess with that, bro. Well, okay, so back to the uh, you stupid. Back to the uh, <laughs> the trade school stuff and the the college thing. Uh, we talked about the the differences between them, but also if you go to trade school, you don't have to worry about paying student loans. And student loans 
is a big thing. But I do know in 2020, due to the COVID stuff, they pushed them back to where you didn't have to pay for uh, pay your student loans. And I guess that's a positive in the midst of all the darkness of COVID and in 2021. But how did COVID affect you last year? Man, that it, that affected me a lot. Um, so so I went you know I went to I uh, little IT program mm-hmm. called uh, you know my computer career um, went there you know got a few certifications um, you know graduated with my certificate completion or whatever um, started a job out in like Casterton you know doing like desktop support and repairs um, for different schools um, but as soon as you know COVID officially hit and they shut down the schools that took out like a chunk of their business and there's only about four or five of us like repair guys me being the newest one. I was let go because they're anticipating, you know, lack of business. Yeah. So, which is understandable, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't tripping about it because I'm like, business-wise, I understand, you know. Yeah. He's been here eight years. He's been here like twenty. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna let those guys yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, they've been here. They've, they've already got the connection, the personnel. I've been here, you know, a handful of months. So I'm just like, you know, I chalked it up as, you know, hey, it is what it is. COVID sucks. Um, it, it was, a, it was a bad way to come back from. My birthday vacation. I went down to Mexico, but uh, hey, I had fun before COVID hit. Yeah. Um, but <clears throat> with the uh, with the with the unemployment bonuses they were getting, I was able to just kind of. Yeah, I was eating out here. I was eating. I went to a lot of good <laughs> restaurants. You know what I mean? I, I was able to have you know fun. I was trying out different places I wouldn't go to because they only do brunch hours yeah. or they're you know they got three dollar signs on the Google reviews. This is like you know I wouldn't normally go here, but hey, since I'm getting paid. To sit at home, I might as well spend a couple dollars, and I actually found a few you know good restaurants that I I recommend. What's the what, what are uh, La Peep? That's a that's like my new favorite like oh, breakfast yeah. joint. Yeah, they they got I think they got about three locations here. So okay. Castleton downtown and uh, on the west side. I'm just like this shit, this is hitting, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I was having them like at least once a week yeah. for about two months straight. Uh, at the same time, you know, uh, I was going through. Uh, the pregnancy of, yeah. of my of my first and only son, um, so obviously you know that was kind of that was kind of tough because with COVID, when the hospitals, they weren't letting anybody come to the doctor's appointments. So I don't nobody. know nobody, just I mean just the mother. Just you know what mother. I mean? Like you can there's no there's no. Are you wear mask and go in? Nope. Oh, they yeah. were not they were not admitting any extra people. If you if if you're not carrying the baby, get sit outside. So I was just like, all right. So but I'm basically doing like FaceTime videos with the doctor in there. And obviously me being the more calm one, like I can re- I can react to different things or whatever. So yeah. it's just like, but I couldn't be on the phone call for everything. So I, gotcha. have, I was just like, man, this is, this is crazy. And for that to have my first kid, and that actually prolonged it because um, during the birth, they didn't let anybody in either except one guest. And obviously, I, I'm gonna be that guest. You know what I mean? Like I don't care what nobody's talking about. So she couldn't, you know. So she couldn't bring out her her sister, um, yeah. my mom. You know, people who want to be there yeah, for the yeah. birth, they're at home. So you actually got to be there, like when she went to labor and the birth happened. You got to be there, but yeah, prior yeah. to that, you couldn't. Nope. That sucks. Man. Yeah, and and basically, I took her to like it, it wasn't even it wasn't even planned. So I took her took her there for a routine mm-hmm. checkup, and it was like yada 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 something something based on these levels. We're gonna go ahead and induce you. You're gonna be here a couple days. What? We came here for a checkup. You know what I mean? So I actually left for a couple hours, went home, got the clothes, and got my video game. You know, it's because I'm. I'm you in this video if game. If I'm gonna be chilling, I'm at least gonna. But you can't be chilling if she going through something. You're supposed to be there. That's like. Well, me. okay. Well, look. Some people labor can be 18 plus hours. You yeah. literally don't have anything to do. You literally can't do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but until you can't. The, you until can't. the baby what games there. you play? You, know, you play Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty, okay. 2K, you know. Let's let's say you playing Call of Duty, you on you on duels. There's two teams left. You mm-hmm. last person left against a against two people, <laughs> and she going to labor. You're not gonna turn the game off. We'll see. Have you had your first kid yet? No, not yet. Let's okay, see. so, well, pre congratulations. Appreciate it. Um, but when they say we're gonna take him to labor, you got a good like ten minutes for right. they get roll for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you got a few minutes to get ready because you, you got you got to put the you got to put the booties on you got to put your scrubs on you got to get dressed and then you know with, with my baby mom 
they had to, you know, they were they were trying to induce her. So that mm-hmm. takes time too. It wasn't like she's her water broke. She's going into labor. We got to go. There was no urgency. It was just yeah. like we're gonna try and induce you. This ain't working. We're gonna bump it up a few notches. You know what I mean? Whatever they're doing to try to get them going. Uh, what they were what they were doing. It was like he wasn't baby wasn't feeling it. So it was like mm, we're gonna do a C section because that was the last resort. Okay. We can't do this natural. You know because of the X, Y, and Z. So with that C-section, you know, we're for the doctor, blah, blah, blah. Like everything was cool. They're just monitoring her at this point. So that's what I'm doing. You good? You Bro, right? You, not, you ain't shit. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I could show you post after post of people doing this and the mom's not caring because yeah. what, literally what can you do? Because you don't want to leave and go go work out. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? Like yeah, when wifey go in the labor, I'm probably gonna be in there making TikTok videos. So I ain't. <laughs> I, I there's only so many on. ideas you can do in a room about this size maybe a little maybe a little yeah. smaller but i mean the bed's gonna take up a big chunk of it and we gonna you gonna sleep on the couch you know what i mean so you so, also exactly. i can't roll another bed in there i mean well i don't know it, it was it was COVID. i don't know i might have to see if they can roll another bed in there now i'm going into labor or something yeah now now i know come december that's gonna be you know a year and a half after my kid was born so i'm sure the, the precautions for the for the COVID in the hospital, my, no, know, they they not really that far bit. different because my my um cousin just had a baby and they wouldn't let they wouldn't let her her husband in. He had to wait outside a little bit until like the point you talking about when they went into labor, then he could come in. Oh man! So See, yeah, and I, and that, so, it, it might be hospital based too. But I know right now, when the doctor's appointments, I've been to all of them. So and there's been no issues. I, I get to come just fine. But um, as far as for me. 2020 affected a lot, a lot of a lot of family got sick and stuff like that. But as far as work, I was still working because you know first responder day uh, essential. Yeah, they're not really heroes work here. Yeah, yeah they're not really <laughs> they're not really letting us go as much as I really wanted to stay at the crib. Um, but I didn't didn't see really not too much uh, crazy stuff. A couple family, like I said, a couple family members got sick with COVID. Other than that, um, it wasn't COVID wasn't that bad for me because I, I was already staying away from people. You know, so I wasn't, <laughs> I'm already staying away from people. So I didn't need, uh, uh, being on lockdown didn't really bother me. It sucked the way, like, they was out selling out of tissue and paper towels and stuff. That was, that ridiculous. was ridiculous. Get your TV. But other than that, um, I didn't really see no, I didn't see nothing crazy as far as, like, what you said. It was like, as far as, like, the letting go of the jobs and then uh, I didn't get the, the unemployment checks. I know a lot of people who got those who've just been chilling. I think do they still do them now? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I went back to work last year. Uh, okay. but, I mean, that was my first and only time yeah, yeah. applying for unemployment. Only because I was like, well, if you go, if you paying eighteen, nineteen, twenty dollars an hour, basically based on these checks, but the bonuses, I'm just like, why would I go? Why would I go get a job right yeah, now? Yeah, a lot of people quit and did that. Yeah, well, I wouldn't do that. I ain't that irresponsible. Um, <laughs> but I'm like, well, since since I'm about to have a kid, I, I want to stay home with the kid. Yeah. Versus, you know, if I had if, if I was working a regular job, most jobs are not given paternity paternity leave. Yeah. I, like, I would, so that's I'm, not for men, because I don't think I don't think my job do. You know, yeah, they give him maternity leave for the mom, and so you can get your body right or whatever. But guys, you you get a couple of days, go back to work. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to sign up for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I got lucky right now because if the baby do come in December, I got pretty much all of December off except for two days. So you can use them two days for PTO. I'm just saying. Yeah. Go go ahead, go but, see. So at least you get you know. A but I mean, but I had to use my vacation for those days. But I just was able to put them in early enough to where nobody else was looking at taking those days off. Those other two days, the book is full, so I gotta go. But yeah, blackout day. Yeah, yeah. Not, not enough staff. So, um, so is that the the COVID situation is that still affecting you in twenty twenty one or have things gotten better? <clears throat> um, because because of the whole pandemic, it basically went from I was gonna focus on growing my IT career to when I tried to get back into the field. The recruiters are saying, you've been out of the field too long. How long were you out of the field? Maybe four, five, six months. Okay. It was like, you need, you know, you haven't worked yada, yada, yada months. They want someone who's been doing this recently. And I'm like, I'm thinking in my head, like, what do you mean? Like, it's a whole pandemic. Like, people letting go jobs. Yeah, and, yeah. and then I even, y'all see on my resume. I've what? been doing this. Yeah, so so luckily I still I still had connections in logistics because that was one of the only other fields that were that didn't get hit at all. You gotcha. know, healthcare, you know, first responders, logistics, and maybe some some other field. Only ones who were actually going up or or heavily needed. 
Yeah. You know, restaurants were going down. So I'm just like, I went, I went back to Amazon. I, I knew I knew the manager. He obviously said that they need more deliveries. So I, don't, I went, went back to work. I'm like, you know what? I might as well focus on logistics because this field goes up. There's never a shortage. I mean, there's never, you know, yeah, they're never lacking. There's never a shortage. There's always work to be done. So I might as well do this. So, you know, I got my for hire license. I thought, you know, now I'm thinking about getting my CDLs, but um, I don't need my CDL license to do what I'm trying to do, which is drive a 26 uh, straight truck yeah. and just be under the CDL limit, which is under 26,000. So, I don't know. Would you transport and everything? Yep. Uh, yeah, I could do I could do general freight, cargo, pallets of whatever. Everybody you know, getting into the trucking business right now. I got some friends. Everybody wants, every, and, and we're we're so lazy. We want everything delivered. But so, I can't, bro. Y'all be driving like 12, 13 hours. I mean, no nah, sleep. Yeah, I'm not. I'm yeah. I'm not trying to overdo it. Uh, but that. But that's that's the doing expedite shipping or doing you know OTR. And I'm gonna be big as hell. Yeah, I mean, I could do it though. You know, but I'm not, I'm not doing. I'm doing a twenty six footer, which is which is still decent. I'm not doing a semi, which is fifty three feet, mm. where you got to go slower and do all gotcha. that stuff. But I'm gonna be more so local or just like regional to where I can still be close enough where I'm only a few hours away. You know and you, as as a truck driver or, or logistics, is that what it's called? Logistics. Yeah, logistics. Um, do you guys get to choose the route you want to work, or does the route get picked for you? Like, do you? Go, I want to pick up this load versus picking up that load. Uh, yeah, it depends. I mean, if you work for somebody, you ain't got no control. Um, yeah. Like what I've been doing. Like I couldn't tell them like I want to go here. Like no, because because they're not telling me that stuff. They're getting a load for me that's gonna be close enough. But I'm trying to be more so in control by you know uh, having my mom be like uh, working with a broker directly, and she'll be a dispatcher. So mm -hmm. she'll be looking for the loads, yes. or she'll just send me the log in, and I'll look with her. And we're gonna find out, you know, what's the what's because these loads they're all paying differently based on where it's going and what they're hauling or if they need it you know next day or something you know all those prices get affected differently um so i basically i can pick which load i want to go to like do i want to go to bloomington or do i want to go with, to michigan city you know i could pick which load i'm like this pays you know four dollars a mile this pays about 370 you know what's gotcha. the weight? It, it tells you the weight you know 10,000 5,000 15 whatever so we can really pick and choose how to make this money you know, that's cool that's so cool. definitely we trying to get into the whole like ownership so my dad's got a he's got his own you know company so we're gonna be it's gonna Working be family really. business so yeah. so next next year is gonna be uh gonna be you know pretty good I feel that mm -hmm. all right let's I got one more question for you you ready two more questions for you you can ask me anything right what's your favorite cereal favorite cereal um had to be either cinnamon toast crunch or fruity pebbles <laughs> What do you feel was my guy? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to say I thought you were about to say raisin brand or something. Nah, but uh I ain't corny, bro. Ain't last ain't question. Old, man. I need I need your top three. Your top three tips or advice for myself as a about to be a new dad and anybody watching who's about to be a new dad. What's your top three uh tips or advice for oncoming man, fathers? That's that's tough. Okay, so um my, my kid, he just turned one back in June, yeah. so my kid's not too much older than what yours is going to be. Yeah. Um, but being a first-time dad, I mean, try to spend as much, like, genuine time with them that you can, like, early on to build that bond, that connection, you know? Because, like, my kid, he just runs to me. Every time he sees me, he just runs to me and gives me a hug. Like, That's dope. I get off work, uh, I wake up in the morning, uh, dope. maybe he's cranky, I don't know. But, you know, whatever, he's always just always running to me and trying to give, you know, give that that hug, yeah. you know, so, and that right there, even though he ain't nothing but 20 something pounds, you know, that, that hug is just like, that meaningful. shit's everything. Yeah, it's yeah. meaningful. So I'm just like, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be doing that if, if he didn't really know me, Yeah. you know, and, and, and thankfully I've been able to take some time off work or, you know, not work too much to where I'm not there. Cause, cause he know, he knows when I'm, you know, he, he knows when I'm there, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. Like when, like when it's just me and him hanging out, I'm not like playing video games and you know doing other stuff. We're we're chilling. We're watching TV. We're playing with toys. You know what I mean? We're fake wrestling. You know what I mean? Whatever. We're spending you know genuine genuine time together, um, and just always like keep your energies good. You know, because they can feel that. Like they energy can between who? Like your 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 body energy, your yeah. aura. You know gotcha. what I mean? Like they can feel when you're stressed out, when you're really? when you're tense. Cause, Cause, then it's like you know, what I mean, just like we be like, mm, you kind of something feels off. Yeah. Like I always make sure I'm 
Super level. Super level. You don't bring no stress. I don't bring no stress to the home. I don't bring no stress to the crib. Energies in my crib is always good. You know? That's what's up. Because the, he will always know he's safe here. You That's know what I mean? Up. Like, no matter what's happening, you can, you're okay here. You feel me? That's what's up. And, and I talk to him. I, even though, he, obviously, he's not talking like that, yeah. like, full, you know, like, full not words. He, yeah, full words. I'm still talking to him normal. You know, wake up in the morning, I'm talking to him, oh, don't give me that. You know what I mean? I'm... I'm not, I'm not talking like baby talk with you. We talking full sentences. Like I'm talking to you. Like yeah. I'm talking to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um, definitely to spend that time. Uh, what else would I say? Um, oh, sh- make sure you and your moms. Make well, make sure you and the you know the wifey or the baby mom, whatever. Make sure y'all co-parent be on the same level. No matter what happens, like you know what I mean? Like don't bring the kid involved into it if there's ever any tension. Yeah. Um, work you know work that stuff out. Make sure y'all both know what y'all want to do for the kid, cause that's something I'm figuring out too. Like, what what the mom wants to do versus what I want to do for the kid. We have no ways. We're not always on the same page, but we gotta compromise. You know, you gotta compromise. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that, bro. Cause I'm definitely gonna implement those. Uh, cause you know, just just the talking in general. Uh, I'll be talking to the belly right now, talking to him. He, he moves around a lot when he hears my voice or like when he uh, knows I come home from work, he moves around a lot. So See, that's dope. So, um, but appreciate you being on the show, bro. Always. Anytime. Uh, that's another one, man. Uh, comment below how y'all felt about it. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And we out.